in one of last week's videos I cut this thread that's the thread for the, the studs I'm making I cut that at the wrong angle so what I'm going to do I'm eventually going to get this job sorted for once and for all I'm getting short of silver steel so I'm going to use a couple of those those are actually wheel studs off a wagon uh, I know for a fact that's good material it's already hardened I don't need to do anything with it just machine it I've machined them before, they're very tough but they do machine quite nicely. So I'm going to make two studs of the two of them. Well, they were centers in the end first, I think. And then we'll machine this with a with a center in it. Just for that bit there, which is a spline, and obviously we're going to put a straight, a straight nail on as opposed to a, a tape add one like that. That's where you use two nails and you get a criss, crisscross nail pattern. Well, I just want a straight, straight nail like that. And that's the nail and wheel that's turned up. I bought a pair of them. It was only three pound for a pair, but they've come from China. Honestly, I don't know how they can. How we can make them for that. And it's been ground, it's, it's hard, nice and sharp. So I'll have to modify this tool, I'll make a new tool nail that to take that to put the nice straight nail on, which will be the same as the splines. Right, the parts machine to finish sizes, apart from the threads being slightly too long. I'm at the stage now where I was when I started last week's video putting the threads on here. So this time I'll make sure. I've got the compound angle set right. Right, this is our compound slide, it's fully adjustable. In last week's video, I said that we're cutting the 60 degree metric thread, so we need to set the compound angle to 30 degrees. And I went and I got a 1 0, 10, 20, 30, and backed it off to just before. That's wrong. That's at 30 degrees, but it's 30 degrees the wrong way. We need to go 30 degrees from that angle, so we need to fetch it back to 60, which is there, just before 60. So I can get a close up and show you the, there, so that's just before 60, and last week I had it set just before 30. Well, it was 30 degrees the wrong way, that's 30 degrees the right way, so that there is in the right place to cut the metric thread. I'll just nip the, nip the nuts up. It is an easy way to check that you've got it at the right angle. I mean, that's a 60 degree tool in there, half a 60 is 30. So the angle 
Now that part of the tool there is the same angle as the cross as the compound slide. So if we put an imaginary straight edge across the edge of that tool, it runs parallel with the compound slide. Right, 60 degree tool, half of that's 30. So if we put a straight edge parallel with the side of the tool, you'll see that it also is parallel with the centre line of the compound slide, so we'll know that's at the right angle. I knew that last week, but I still got it wrong. That's what happens when you're trying to do videos and cut screw threads, you make mistakes. Right, you should be able to see that, that's a 1mm thread pitch gauge and it's actually fitting in there perfectly so we're uh, cutting the correct thread That's nice Right, what we're doing now is make the milling tool put the spline on there, shorten that and finish the head off and that's what I'm doing Eventually, I'm going to make up a little tool to hold these, or to hold one of these milling wheels. The milling wheels eight mil across. I'm putting eight mil slot in here. It's also got an eight mil hole through there. I've got some eight mil hardened wheel pins. I'll use one of them, and I've got the reamer to be the hole through. This bar's square, which means we're still dead on centre for our drill. Centre drill first. It's an 8mm reamer, so we use a 7.9mm drill. It's kept in with a reamer all the time, which all the time I use for. That's a little pin there, it should be a nice, a really nice fit in there, which it is. Proper room fit. Let's 
just nice. I'll just knock those corners off on the grinder and then we'll have a good machine in it. Right, no the truth. They run fairly slow, that's probably alright at that sort of speed there. It's going to be a lot of load put on here, plenty of lube. So we're right up close to the chuck, and I've also got the tail stock steady in. It's not doing very much to it. Not doing a lot at all, that. This is a hardened, a hardened bolt as well. We're trying to nail. Not a great lot happening there. Right, I'm going to try the original nailing tool, nailing wheel, which is the. The one with the angles nail on. I think it's a much better quality roller. See, all it's got to do is get a grip when it's it goes in order it goes in to stop it turning when the, the nuts tightened. Certainly better. I'm working more hard on steel, that's the trouble. I think that'll probably do. Not ideal, but it's. Just check the size. Bang on size 1722, so I think we'll probably leave it at that. I think it's just the fact that the material is that tough. Those cheap nailing wheels I bought. I'm certainly no use at all for material like this. Yeah, it's going to do the job for him. We we'll certainly get a grip with that. Basically that's down the thickness, all I want now is a nice chamfer on there. I'll probably get away with using a tool like that carefully.
wird ein bisschen stiefer. Break that egg there. Like that. That's basically one pin done. One more to do, I'll do it already for him, that's his, his bitch done. I've got a couple of plain 10 by 1 metric nuts from today. Quite peaceful, huh? And I know for a fact it's made out of one of them. That's not rubbish, that's a, a wagon wheel stud, it'd be good material. 